I am Dr. Nitin Joshi, International Endoscopist and Gastroenterologist. As uh, we all have reached uh, the peak of COVID-19 pandemic in India too, it appears that all other diseases have disappeared and only we are dealing with Corona. But the situation is not like that. As far as endoscopy practice is concerned, a whole lot of population from rural area who are going to metro cities to take their treatments to municipal corporation hospitals in Mumbai, Pune or nearby city Hyderabad. Because of the travel restrictions, a whole lot of population is in trouble. Since day one, we at Galaxy have not stopped providing our services to this patient population. We are taking the utmost care to protect ourselves our staff, our patients, and the relatives who are coming to Galaxy Hospital. What we do here is, as soon as patient or a relative enters the hospital, we do their thermal scan. We have formulated our own history sheet. The patient has to fill the form. Patient has to give a consent. And then they enter, we examine them carefully, and then the patient is brought up to the endoscopy suit. We have four endoscopy theatres. But currently we are using only two and the rest of two theatres we have converted into donning and doffing areas for the personal protective equipment. Today we have a case, a 27 year old male who has portal hypertension, portal biliopathy, he has undergone splenectomy and he has been on stent exchanges at KM Hospital Mumbai. But unfortunately for next few months he won't be able to go there. And this man has traveled with high grade fever, pain in abdomen and deep jaundice for over 160 kilometers on a bike. Now today I am going to show you the demonstration of wearing the PPE and the radiation protective equipment for ERCP. As you can see me, I am already wearing a head cap and I am wearing the shoe covers. Now first thing I will do is I do a hand hygiene. So I use three pumps of sterilium, which is 70% alcohol and I will nicely rub it over my hands for 20 seconds and then I will put on my full lead apron which will be given to me by my assistant. This lead apron is quite heavy and it encircles me completely, then I will put on my thyroid shield and then I will put on my strap to tighten the lead apron around my tummy so that it doesn't move around when I am doing the procedure. Now I have put on my lead apron, put on my thyroid shield, I will again do my hand hygiene, three pumps, rub it nicely for another 20 seconds. And then I will put the full uh, gown, which is my assistant who is uh, helping me to strap and you can see her, she is already wearing a complete PPE. So once I have tightened uh, the gown around me, I will now put on my hand gloves. First pair of course, over this I am going to put another pair of hand gloves and then this is a single use uh, N95 mask which is really provided by the manufacturer with this particular kit. So as you can see me, the first thing I will do is I will take this lower end of this mask around my neck and then I will strap it nicely. Now this mask is covering my nose and my mouth face, I will blow into the mask to ensure that air doesn't leak. Now I am sure that air is not leaking. Now this particular kit has been provided with this uh, different type of a uh, hood. Normally some kits have a plastic shield. This one has this particular quite uncomfortable but necessity of this hour and now I am completely covered with this 
over this I will put on my goggle which is uh, protecting me. So you can see me now I am completely done up with my PPE kit. As I move around I will again do a hand hygiene now before I put on my second pair of gloves and then we all will go to the uh, endoscopy area where we will perform our ERCP. Okay. So now we are ready now with the ERCP for the patient that I have already described. I am using uh, Olympus uh, 180 duodenoscope and we already have 190 uh, Olympus system and uh, CM and we will start with the procedure. We have finished the procedure and now I have come to our doffing area. And now that first thing I will do is I will release the straps of this gown that have been uh, tightened already before I remove any of my uh, things. Now how I remove it is I will start rolling up this gown from below ensuring that it doesn't generate any aerosol and once I have removed it completely I will put it into the dustbin. After I have removed my gown, I will take out this hood. One more thing to realize that uh, the temperature here in our city is very high. Despite being in all air conditioned rooms, I am drenched in sweats while I was doing the procedure. And now I will remove my straps. And, uh, I'll put it in a safe place. I have removed my thyroid shield. Now I will take out my shoe covers. I will, before I remove my mask and my head cap, I will do hand hygiene once again and then I will remove it. I will do uh, hand hygiene before I remove my mask and uh, the cap. So what I do now is I just bend down, remove the next strap and then I will remove the strap and put it straight into the dustbin. I will take out my head cap, put it into the dustbin and then I will hook it around my gloves without touching the external part and then I will put the gloves and now again I will do hand wash for one last time. So this procedure ensures the complete uh, safety to the patient, to the doctors, to the staff and to the environment. Thank you so much.